Today, I'm going to give you a brief tour of the Simplify 3D interface. Here in the middle is our virtual build plate, a 3D rendering of your printer's bed. On the top left is the model list. Click Import to add a new STL or OBJ file, or drag and drop the file onto the virtual build plate. As an example, I've imported these chess pieces. On the bottom left is the process list. A process determines how the parts on your virtual build plate will be constructed. On the right, you'll see a toolbar with many options. But for today, I'm just going to focus on the top four, which control model manipulation. The first is just a normal pointer for clicking and selecting models. Next is model translation, which lets you move your model along the X or Y axis. Next is scaling, which allows you to change the size of your model by moving your mouse up or down. And last is rotation, which lets you rotate your model along the Z axis. These come in handy for quickly scaling and arranging your parts on the build plate. And these four tools also have keyboard shortcuts to make life a little easier. Q for normal selection, W for translate models, E for scale models, and R for rotate models. In fact, almost all of the most frequently used tools in Simplify 3D have their own keyboard shortcut. There's actually a really nice one I haven't mentioned yet. That's the ability to undo. Let's say I want to undo all of the changes I just made to the Bishop model. So I simply click Undo until all of my changes are undone. I could also have used the keyboard shortcut Control-Z. Note that if you're on a Mac, you'll use the Command key instead of the Control key. So in this case, you'd have used Command-Z to undo. Another option I use all the time is Copy and Paste, which can be used for models and processes. This can really come in handy when you've configured your model exactly how you want it and want to print more of them in the same print job. Let's say we're printing half a chess set in one color, so we'll need two bishops. It's as easy as copying and pasting the model. You can, of course, also use the common shortcuts Control-C and Control-V. Now, I'm also going to need eight pawns for my chess set, but I don't want to copy and paste this model seven more times. Thankfully, there's an easier way. I just go to the Edit menu and click Duplicate Models. I'll need seven more pawns to end up with a total of eight. You can also use Control-D to bring up this menu. Now, half my pawns are off the build plate, so I can just click Center and Arrange, which will automatically arrange it so all of the models fit on the build plate. But let's say I liked the other arrangement better. So I'll click Control-Z to undo my change, go to the Model list and click Control-A to select all, and then click W so I can translate my models and move them exactly how I want them. So now you've seen some of the basics of the Simplify 3D interface. Be sure to watch our other videos for more tips and tricks.